What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Robert the L channel. So what do we have today? Today we have another video back to back, the Final Burn Alpha for the PlayStation Vita. Now we will test the CPS3 games, Street Fighter 3rd Strike. Also, we will use the LOL icon .skprx from Dots and the auto plugin if you need to install it. If you don't know how to install those two, then go to my previous video. It will be in the description. It is really simple guys. You guys will see the performance for the Final Burn Alpha and Street Fighter 3rd Strike, which is pretty cool. So we go to the developer's GitHub. Now this developer is updating this information. You guys can see right now it's for the Switch as well, but we will select the one for the Vita VPK and we download it. So that's all we need. If you need to install the LOL icon plugin, use auto plugin, which it will facilitate everything for you. Now for the ROMs, I'll go ahead and leave them in my Twitter page in the moment so go ahead and check my twitter so now we will connect our playstation vita to the pc by using vita shell when we press select okay so now we have our folder from the playstation vita and we will copy the final burn alpha to the root of the playstation vita okay once we have that copied over we will go to the playstation vita and we will go to uxo and install the PFBA or Final Burn Alpha 1.57 VPK. There you have it guys, simple as that, simple installation. Now we're going to launch it. Okay, you guys can see that it's looking for ROMs. We don't have anything yet. So sometimes when you launch it, it'll create some folders in the data folder within the PlayStation Vita. But just in case if you don't get no folders once you launch it, then we will connect to the PC once more. So we launch Vita Shell. And we're going to press select. Okay, so now we move on back to the PC. Now within the PC, once we're connected and we have our folders from the PlayStation Vita, then we will go to data. If you don't have a folder for Final Burn Alpha, then we will create a new one and we will just call it PFBA. It doesn't have to be capital letters, but I like it in capital. So once we have that folder, we're going to create another folder called ROMs. Okay, so once we have our ROM folder, we go within it and we're going to transfer our three ROM files. Or if you have more, then you just transfer them in there. We copy and paste. Okay, so that's all we need with the PC. We have our ROMs in the folder that we need to so that the Final Burn Alpha can detect them. So we move on to the PlayStation Vita. Okay, now with the PlayStation Vita, we run our Final Burn Alpha. Okay, so now we're going to press start. You guys can see it gives us a menu. Now we can select working and we want to show clones. Okay, you guys can see we have three games in the background. Now we go to emulation and we select X. We're gonna change the image or the screen to fit. Now the effect, I like this one, the sharp and scan. So I'll leave it in sharp and scan. Now rotation. You can leave it as is, show frame per second is on, if you guys like that. Now frame skip is really important, put it under 1 and we press start. Okay, so that's all that we need. Now we press exit, it'll take us out or you can just get out of it. So we launch it again. Now you guys can see that the configuration was saved. So now let's run the Street Fighter 3rd Strike. So that we can see its performance you guys can see that it's kind of laggy still the sound now keep in mind I have not enabled the LOL icon you guys can see it's still slow I just wanted to show this so that when we enable the LOL icon we can see the difference so we're just giving a gameplay You 
guys can see that even in the menu, it is kind of slow. Even though we increase the frame skip to one. Still slow. I mean, somewhat playable, but not really. So now let's try to launch Final Burn Alpha again. Since we already have our LOL icon installed, so make sure you have it installed so that this can work. Now, if you try to enable the menu in front of the emulation menu, it will kind of crash or it will not let you do it. So disable it. I would suggest for you to launch the game. Okay, and then enable the menu and it'll let you toggle around or move around. It might lag a little bit, but it still works. So we go to the all clock options. And now we're going to enable the holy. We press circle and then we save the configuration for the final burn alpha. And then we're going to press select and down. Now let's see what's the performance. You can see the frame skips increased. You guys can hear that the menu music and the person talking in the background is pretty cool. It's a little bit more sync. So there you have it guys. It is playable. I think I can handle this. It is pretty cool. I love Free Fighter Third Strike. So let me know if you guys agree with this or you think hopefully the developers can go ahead and increase the speed for final burn alpha look at that simple as that guys this is amazing this is pretty cool the cpu increase from the lol icon making third strike playable on the playstation vita can it get any better than that i think it will all these developers are doing great things i just cannot get enough of the playstation vita so guys remember to go to my twitter page and get those roms Get the LOL icon, the final burn alpha, and if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Game of Rebirth, out.